there anything back here? Hidden from view? Doesn't look like it. Maybe can he can he go in the grate then? Kid, get in the grate. Oh, he that's a door? That's like a wall. You're kidding. Okay, well. Moving on. Don't know why I ran towards the back wall. The I keep like wanting to look for collectibles and secrets, but I don't think it's that kind of game. I think it's just puzzle solving. Light platforming and puzzle solving. Okay, going this way. At least it's brightening up a little bit. That should make it a little easier to see and not be terrified of everything. The night is always darkest before the dawn, and now the dawn is upon us. So it's all good. Oh, I gotta do something here. Wait a minute. If I move that box, the chain moves. Oh, I move it back, and then I climb on the chain. I gotcha. Yeah. The simple puzzle solving is pretty good, all things considered. Like, it's, um... Like with Limbo, uh, Inside seems to do a lot with a little, which I think is smart game design. Smart minimalist game design, I should say. Like, I'm... As I'm pretty impressed with the game so far. As much as I've got stuck at that one part, I... Where are we now? We're just running through some industrial place. Okay, we climb the ladder. Jump over here. Drop here. I guess I could have dropped there, couldn't I? Oh. Is there a reason for me to do that? Maybe? Okay, if I put that there, I feel like that's important later. And then I can... And that looks like death, so maybe not that way. It, oh. Maybe I can move it to the right. No? Well, let me move it to the right. Hmm. Well, I feel like it's got to be up here. That much I do know. Unless... I feel like I'm not supposed to jump down there. Eh, fuck it, I got infinite lives. Whee! Ouch. Am I supposed to fall in that hole, maybe? I don't know why that would uh, lead to survival, but I guess you never know. Like, if I drop down here, it takes me back that way. Okay, so if I... There. Oh! Well, the good news is I made it down the hole. The bad news is I'm dead on train tracks, which is, like, double plus dead. So. That's not the solution in case anyone is... Oh, hang on. I think I discovered something. If I, like, push it like this or, like, pull it... Hmm. I think that that's important, too. And I could feasibly maybe reach it by doing that. That's a little more assuring, eh? Nope. And we did it. Ha. And all it took was a little bit of gray matter. And belief in ourselves, of course. We're going to push this down. Whoa. Okay, I maybe didn't think that through, but the important thing is that I thought I came up with a solution, and then I did not account for the forces of gravity, so that is my bad. 
Okay, you can't pull it, so I think we have to push it down. So maybe let's jump over this way. There. We're not gonna fall for that one twice, right? We're smarter than that. Alright, so we can drop down here. You know what this reminds me of a little bit is those old rotoscopic platformers like uh, Prince of Persia or Flashback. Except obviously with much better controls, like actual working controls. Okay. Uh, oh, something's here. So I... It's a grate. I guess I accidentally discovered that grate by just screwing around, but this might be where I'm supposed to go. Oh! What did that do? Oh, I got an achievement. Left behind. Safe falling and hard landings. Yeah, that seems to be most of progression in this game. Thank you very much, Xbox. Okay. Moving on. And... Oh, we got another one of these levers. I've had enough of levers already. Okay. So if I jump into this, that gives me another one of these background guys to use. Okay, and... Can he, like, push that wall, maybe? Or... Do something. No, maybe I should try pulling the lever first. Because it doesn't look like he does anything yet. What does that do? Well, we'll find out. There's nothing over here, right? No, that's a wall. Unless there's another grate. No, it's just a wall. Alright, wake up. We got, whoa, we got another guy in there. Second guy. Oh, I didn't mean to jump out of that. Okay, try that again. So... I think I have to somehow position it so... Oh, I get it. Okay. I think I know what to do, so let's uh, let's get out of this machine. I think one of them... Maybe deactivates? Okay, I think I sort of have the right idea, but we're gonna have to see. Get back in there. There we go. Yeah, see, I knew they had to be on the switches at the same time. I just wasn't sure how. More train tracks. Hey, isn't that where I, like, stupidly fell to my death the other time? Could have bypassed that whole puzzle chamber if it weren't for, you know, gravity and mortality and uh, the necessity of having a brain, but whatever. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Moving on. And we're up here. It's actually eerier when there's no music, I find. Like, Playdead's atmosphere in their games is almost suffocating, and I find, um... Limbo was already pretty suffocating, but it looks like inside's even worse at this point. Like, in a good way. Oh, this looks tricky. Okay. Love the art design, I gotta say. And we're just... And jump! Oh! Grab something. Only slight nitpick for me is the fact that, again, with the dark atmosphere, it's sometimes difficult to see things. Like, I have excellent eyesight, and even then I'm having trouble seeing some things that you need to work with in the environment. But, let's move on. Whoa! No, 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 no! No, shoot! Okay. It's a little hair raising. That's like Uncharted. Everything just breaks out from under you at random. Okay. Spay. Got more of those guys. Obviously, a lot of this narrative is open to interpretation, but kind of like that. It's a lot of mystery to the game. Here. Nope. Got something off. There. 
guess I just keep pulling the door until it comes apart. There we go. And down here. Oh. Now maybe down this way. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, can I like jump? Where am I supposed to go? It won't. So I'm missing something there. What am I missing, Play Dead? Is there another grate down here? Like, I climb up here. Ugh. It's just barely. There's nothing outside that I saw, right? Not sure how it expects me to get over there. Okay, let's try going back this way. Nope. Not that way. Great, so I'm trapped in this little area because my jump isn't quite good enough. <sighs> okay. Again, right when I get stuck, the viewership spikes. Awesome. Ugh. There, moving on. There's no way to, like, swing or grab onto something else. It's not... No, I didn't mean to jump there. I'm trying to think in the in the logic of other platformers where it's like, is there a way to charge up my jump so I do a super jump? But it doesn't seem like the kind of game Inside is, is it? Because this is as high as it lets me climb. And then it... It's gotta be a trick. Okay, that just drops me down. This jumps me over here. It, ugh. Just barely. And there's no... There's no interactions I can do in the environment, so I'm kind of confused. Maybe there's something I can interact with at the top? Well, there's nothing I can pull on. Unless, is there a way to knock the ladder over, maybe? There we go. See, it just takes a step. Xbox One just seems to do that at random. It seems to pause the game. I'm not sure why that was. I originally thought it was Connect that was doing that, but my Connect is unplugged. So I'm not sure why it's pausing the game on me. Up. There we go. Well, that accomplished a lot. By the way, it's a really quiet crowd tonight. Normally my chat's going with ideas, like with Song of the Deep, people were a buzz. But I guess it's a silent mood tonight. Oh there we go, light. Um What happened? I turned on the light and got eaten by a scary thing. So I'm Maybe I have to turn on the light and not get seen. That that would be a bright idea, wouldn't it? Surfer says, good going. <laughs> I should be careful what I wish for with the chat. <laughs> uh, okay. 